is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, as I'm, I'm filming this, this is still Invest 92L. However, I've been talking to some folks on Storms United. We've been analyzing the data, and we're in agreement that this thing, is, as of right now, as I'm filming this, is likely a tropical depression. As we're speaking, due to the out, outflow that's going on, due to all the data we've compiled, there's an increased uh, area of good convection around the system right there. We also are analyzing more data as it's coming in, and that's what why we're making this call right here. So we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about, about that, as well as some potential runs that we've been seeing. So the first thing we need to do, we need to talk about the global sea temperatures going forward. We're looking at very warm waters, 28 degrees Celsius, basically from where it is now to where it's basically to where it's going. And we'll go ahead and talk about that in just a second. We have the track models pulled up for uh, for now, and we'll go ahead and show what that's going on for a second. But before we do, I want to talk a little bit more about the ocean heat content because I've been looking at it. I've been getting more data about this. And the ocean heat content, at least where this thing, thing is going, we're looking at a decent area of around 100 to 125 OHC. And basically from what I'm seeing th this is that if this thing can – Get over that, and considering the wind shear in the area, and I'll go ahead and show you the map right there. The wind shear is not very strong. It's around 15, 20 knots or so. If this can go, go over this OHC, this thing can organize and strengthen very quickly and potentially strengthen into a hurricane, tropical storm, all that stuff right there. And we're going to continue to keep an eye on that for you guys as we continue to take a look at this. We're next going to go ahead and show you the latest track models and then go to the intensity. Track models, the majority of the models still have this impacting the Lesser Antilles. The AEMI, which was at, out to sea at the 18Z analyzed run, now at the 0Z, has this impacting some of the Lesser Antilles, including Guadalupe right over here. So definitely something to keep an eye on. The CM, uh, CEM2 has this hitting Haiti in the Dominican Republic seven days out. I'm not trusting this entirely. I'm taking it with a bit of a grain of salt. But I will continue to monitor this. H Wharf UKX2 T, uh, TVCN has this hitting basically in between Windward Islands right here. So that's something that we're looking at right here. Intensity models, almost universally, the intensity models have this as a hurricane. Some of them have it going up to major hurricane status, including the H Wharf. We're looking at potential Category 3 strength right there with winds of 120 miles per hour. Majority of them, though, keep it around the Category 2 range, so something to keep an eye on as we continue to talk about this. Now we're going to go ahead and show you some of the runs that we have pulled up right here. These are the latest runs. We have the HMON, a few, uh, the H Wharf. We also uh, we also have the HF, uh, HAFS runs as well, so we'll go ahead and talk about those. The HMON has this thing starting to organize, develop, potentially strengthening into a hurricane by basically to, uh, by basically tomorrow evening, and then basically organizing, building a core from there, and then starting to strengthen again into a maybe a Category Two hurricane, high end Category One, and then th and then things start to weaken as it potentially enters higher areas of wind shear, and then starts to lose some of its structure, and then th that's pretty much the latest from the HMON run we have right here. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the H the HFAS uh, runs right here. This is the HAFSA uh, right here. This thing is starting to organize, develop, and strengthen. Potentially becomes a hurricane in the next 48 hours, according to what I am looking at right here. And then things continue to strengthen, potentially down to Category 2 status, similar to the HMON right here. Starts moving a little bit more to the northwest right here. It does start to weaken a little bit, but it does stay a mid-range Category 1 hurricane by five days out. So that's something we have to keep a look, uh, keep an eye on right here. This does make an approach towards the Lesser Antilles. However, based on what I'm looking at right here, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be impacting that or not. It's a little too far out to really talk about. The, H uh, the HFASB, however, has this as a much stronger system, as you can see right here. This thing starts to really organize and develop, potentially strengthens into a hurricane in the next 48 hours. And then really starts to ramp up in intensity, Category 2 strength, and then continues from there down to potentially Category 3 strength, pressure at 950 millibars right here. So definitely de uh, doing that. The winds are over 110 knots across the area. In fact, at 850, the winds are around, a around 120 knots or so. So definitely something to keep an eye on as time continues to progress. And we're, uh, this is an even stronger part of it, and we'll go ahead and pluck a sounding from that as well. In fact, 
by 850, uh, by 850, we're looking at 140 knots of wind in some parts of these systems, making this potentially a Category 3 or Category 4 hurricane right here. However, this is just one mile run. Please keep that in mind. And then the last one we're going to go ahead and show you is the H Wharf. And the H Wharf has been kind of interesting so far. And I want to show you why. The H Wharf, as we're continuing to develop and strengthen right here, is by basically three days out, it's a Category 2 hurricane according to this run right here, the H Wharf. And then things start to really ramp up in size and intensity as it approaches the Lesser Antilles. After making a pass to the north of Barbados right here, it then crosses through as the Lesser Antilles right there and enters the Caribbean Sea, which means that if this scenario does happen, basically these two islands right here could get the eye wipe. Think this one is is Saint Martin, and the other one is is Dom, uh, Dominica. I'm not 100% sure. Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to take a look at them. But yeah, this is what we got going on right here. This enters the Caribbean Sea, and it starts weakening due to the wind shear right here. If this scenario does play out, it could cause a lot of problems for a lot of people in the Lesser Antilles right here. Tropical storm force winds impacting maybe even Guadalupe up here. It's just yeah, it's looking, this scenario is not looking the best right here, and we'll continue to update you here as time continues to progress, but one thing I need to say very quickly is please remain calm, be prepared, just do what you need to do, find your safe spot, have a, have a preparation plan in motion, I don't want anyone panicking over this, I'll continue to update you with, with information as I get to it, but just please remain calm, do not panic, panicking will make things worse. But we will continue to update you here on the Pat's Path Ridiculer channel. If you want to help us out with this system right here, feel free to join our Discord server, Storms United. Links in the description down below. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out and helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.